So the 2020 challenge is a very important fundraising event for Cerebral Palsy Alliance. It is really targeting funds to go towards children, really in that age group of from zero all the way up to 18, to provide them with equipment, equipment which will help them really lead to better lives. The 2020 challenge is important because without the vital funds that are raised through our donors, we would not be able to provide the equipment to very deserving children. And this equipment really is an important part of their lives. It's an important part of allowing them to really become a more inclusive part of society. It's allowing them mobility. It's allowing the opportunity to communicate. It's allowing them the opportunity to have basic household, personal care attended to them during the day. Without that, they would be more isolated than probably what they are. And that's why we're so keen to make sure that these very deserving young people have access to what they need. So mobility and communication are two of the most important things in all our lives, something that most of us would take for granted. But for many of our clients who are nonverbal, who struggle to effectively communicate, the wonder of technology, the ability to allow that level of communication is a really important part in the lives of the individuals, but indeed the whole family. Likewise, from a mobility perspective, we've all run into experiences where we've had our mobility curtailed for a period of time, maybe a broken limb, something like that. But for our clients who really are impaired on an ongoing basis from a mobility viewpoint, their, their opportunity to access powered wheelchairs, walking frames, a variety of devices, once again, gives them a sense of independence, a sense of inclusivity, and again, be, be quite transformational, particularly for young people. So for many of our young clients, they need multiple pieces of equipment to allow them to be a more active part of society. And whilst they are able to access a certain amount of funding under the NDI scheme, there is still a major shortfall. For us to see young people being able to have the level of mobility they want, that level of independence, is quite inspirational. To see them moving around a building, to moving between people, not being reliant on a parent or a carer, asking for support for every time they want to move, is really life-changing for them. Likewise, their ability to communicate, to share with others how they feel, what they want, again, is something which really is life-changing for them in terms of that. Of course, the other challenge for young people, we've all been there, we grow up. So there's different needs at different ages. So for anyone who's considering donating the 2020 challenge to support one of the great teams who are involved, those teams are putting themselves through quite a major challenge. They're doing it as a sense of commitment to cerebral palsy lines, but particularly to the commitment to our clients. Through making a donation to support those individuals or individual teams, that money is directly benefiting our clients. For obvious reasons, we want young people to live the best life possible. So the great thing is that the donations that are being made in the 2020 challenge are going directly to support individual children with equipment which is specific to their particular needs and it is allowing them to be a more active part of our community. I think we would all want that and for, on behalf of those clients, those hundreds of clients who will benefit from your support, a sincere thank you.